actually, I was home a couple weeks ago, and I was having a conversation with my grandma, and she was telling me it was a couple weeks after Alexis was born, she was like, looked at my mom, and she was watching Alexis, and she was like, she's just gonna have the most gentle, quiet spirit. And, you know, fast forward <laughs> 20 years, <laughs> quiet little Alexis may or may not have changed. I mean, some people <laughs> over here know her as a girl who falls asleep in the grass at an LSU tailgate, or the girl who wears a unicorn helmet and drinks cheap skull out of a peanut jar. Um, <laughs> so, you know, sometimes we wondered if there would ever be like a guy brave enough to handle the strong-willed, sassy Alexis. Um, and then that's when we got the text. She texted us one night, me and my mom, and she said that she had met somebody. And we knew at that point that it meant something serious because her general reaction to the entire male species uh, was something along the lines of like, ew, and just like utter repulse. So, <laughs> so we know it was important. Ready to turn around? starting to hit. I'm excited to see her. I'm not. <laughs> Alexis Nicole Cates. I can't believe the day is finally here. And to think and to think that it all started with with a dumb riddle. From that very night, I knew you were my forever person. You're the most beautiful, loving and caring person I've ever met. I wish Ollie Bug and Leo Bug were here to see how perfect their mama looks up at the altar. They're the love of my life, so let's go get married and grow old together. I love you forever. I will On December 28th, 2018, you walked into my life at exactly the right time. I didn't know at the time just how much I needed you, but you became my whole world. <laughs> and immediately I couldn't remember how I ever did life without you. I can't wait to grow this life with you and watch you become the most amazing husband and father. I'll never find the words to let you know exactly what you mean to me. I promise to love you every minute of every day for the rest of our lives. You are my entire world. <laughs> apostles also wrote in Ephesians for the two shall be called one flesh this is the mystery of a wedding when when two are united in Christ they become one his life is no longer his but hers and her life is no longer hers but his according to the power vested in me by the state and laws of the land and the authority of the one true God, Jesus Christ, I hereby pronounce you man and wife. Ryan, you may kiss your bride.
I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Ryan Merrill. For those of you who don't know, my name is Brian Howard. I met Ryan on a rainy day in Omaha. He was committed to TCU. He was coming in the fall. I was there on one of my frequent trips to the College World Series. Um, so I saw Ryan, introduced myself, sized him up a bit. I asked him if he wanted to live with me, just right away. He thought about it for about one second and said yes. So in the same conversation that we introduced ourselves, we decided to live together. And right about then, we should have probably both realized, hey, maybe some critical thought every now and again might help us out. But I'm really glad that that worked out that way. Um, but that's kind of how Ryan is. He's like an instinctual guy, you know? He goes with his gut. And he doesn't hesitate. Like playing shortstop, he'd go get anything. It was the one that's, you know, right at him that sometimes. <laughs> but. He'll go get something in the hole better than I've ever seen. He goes and makes a place. So he's instinctual, and he doesn't hesitate. And he didn't hesitate when he met her. Alexis, you're so beautiful. You're charming. You're funny. Someday I'm going to win an argument against you. Someday. I'm Owen 194. Just got to keep shooting. Keep trying. In all seriousness, I've never seen him this happy. I love you both so much. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of this day. Let's raise our glass to Ryan and Alexis. Yeah.